Tonight is the Jefferson Township Board of Trustees work session. It's Tuesday, June the 8th, 2021, and the time is 6 p.m. I'd like to welcome everybody to our meeting. Let's get started with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance pledge to, to the, the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America, America and to the, the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under, under God. God Indivisible, indivisible with liberty, 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 liberty and justice, and justice, justice for, all. for all. Thank you. This time, I'd like to have a moment of silence to honor our military, our firefighters, sheriff deputies, and road workers as they serve our community here and abroad. Thank you. Roll call, please. Yes, McGuire. Present. Trustee Mann. Present. Trustee McLaughlin. Present. Thank you. Okay, first on the agenda is whole business. Uh, trustees, do you have anything to add regarding the minutes project? It doesn't appear to be any updates on that on the minutes of the project. Moving on to update on the new engine tanker specifications project. Mr. Mann. Chief uh, Wright, I'm going to have to ask him that question. Uh, last Friday, Mr. Mann was uh, on a short vacation. We had a meeting. There was only two of us present. Uh, the other two had to work. And we went over um, generic specs from um, that was made up. And the meeting lasted for about an hour. If you look over other specs, but that's about all I can say right now. We've got another meeting set up for tomorrow at 4 o'clock. <coughs> and that's it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Next on the agenda, uh, update of possible hiring of administrative assistant, human resources, and Deputy Fiscal Officer. Okay, let me say that we're supposed to be writing a job description. All the trustees are supposed to be doing that and turning those in to administrators. Are you, you guys are aware of that, right? I haven't seen any emails on that other than uh, looks like there was a little bit of discussion when I reviewed the meetings um, that I wasn't able to attend. But I don't know what was uh, accomplished and settled. So that's what you're looking for. What's the deadline for that? As soon as we receive those, uh, then we can uh, send the paperwork out to hire those two individuals. Are you okay with that, Mike? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, last on old business, upcoming meetings. Uh, 
I guess the question would be whether or not we want to stick with the meeting that's scheduled next Tuesday since we're only going to have a week pass. That would lead us into, I guess, uh, you and Mr. McLaughlin decided we're going back to live meetings starting the July meeting. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Yes. Okay. We, uh, let me say, everybody is, is supposed to do that because of what the government did for his uh, rescinding the things that were in place. Okay. So can we have it in the, uh, can we have it in the Calumet uh, room there? Uh, um, our room in the Calumet Center in our, in our Section A? Yes. Great. So that'll be the first meeting of July then. Ne next uh, next Tuesday it'll still be on Zoom. Is that what we want to do, guys? Well, I... Go ahead. I'm going to say we got to be in a in attendance at, at Calumet in the room. First of July? Yes. Jim, will you comment? No, you guys already made that decision at the last meeting, so I'm just clarifying that so we can be there and make sure the room's set up. I know it's been cleaned out. I think all we got to do is set the chairs and uh, trustee tables, and we should be good to go. Great. Okay. We get that on the website then? Does that need to be, do we need to tell somebody to do that, put that on the website, make sure that gets announced? Mr. Wolf, can you make sure that happens? Yes, sir. I will do it tomorrow, everyone. Okay, uh, trustees, any other old business? Now, we are having uh, a meeting next week, is that correct? I brought up the question on whether or not we need that. Um, nobody said anything, but the meeting's already in place. So unless there's an interest or a lack of agenda uh, to have it. I think we need to have it. What was that? I could not hear you. I think we need to have it. Okay. Okay. Any other old business, trustees? Okay, moving uh, on to new yeah, business. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. I, so, um, we've discussed we have discussed uh, Station Fifty Nine a couple different times. I was just curious where we stand on that, and when do we have a, a date? When do we think we'll be moving in there? When, what's where does that stand? What's what's the progress on getting in Station Fifty Nine? The last that I heard through the contractors was that there was an issue. Um, Simply Renovations was looking for blueprints which apparently they're not available. So they were moving forward with the submittal to the county to get the permits to keep going. And as far as I know, they've done everything they can up to any work that doesn't require permits. They've been completing uh, like fans and lighting and stuff like that. Um, however, we could run into a snag if uh, once they start doing inspections, if the county comes out, I believe Simply Renovations was trying to be proactive and trying to uh, mitigate any uh, issues with the county. But uh, as far as I know, we've uh, things are moving forward. Okay, well, that's good to hear. I mean, that's kind of the same thing we were doing before when you threw your business cards in there. We were, you know, trying to get things done. Kind of same idea. Mr. McGuire, what? 
But this time, we will have permits, Mr. McLaughlin, and there's a possibility that the work that was done by previous employees might have to be torn out because it does not meet code. So there's nothing to tear out. There's nothing. There was nothing built. There's nothing to tear out. It was already. We would the process. We were tearing it out when you stopped it. Chief Wright, do you have something to say? Yes. Uh, there's been a gentleman worked down there for two days, several weeks ago, and there hasn't been anybody in there since. Okay. Okay, other old business trustees. He's on twenty one budget that are needed requested by the school officer and administrator. Do we want to put that on the agenda for next week? If we don't have anything else, let's do that. So, Steve, is that enough time for the for uh, for that discussion? An hour? Um, I will get with the fiscal officer and we will determine where those changes need to be done. If we can get them accomplished and out to you, yes, an hour would be long enough. But it may not be, so we'll have to just let you know throughout next week. Okay. Okay, uh, last on the new business for work session. Uh, hiring of a new grant writer. Mr. Wolf, are you handling that? Yes. Um, we received the resignation from First Responder Grants LLC. Um, I took that resignation uh, to the legal counsel. Legal counsel says that it's okay for trustees to accept it. Um, uh, and uh, and so Mr. Mann asked me to go find another grant writer, and I did that. I found a very good qualified company, um, uh, and uh, they've been doing it for 19 years. They've gotten well over 20 uh, uh, safer grants for different companies, the fire departments. They've also gotten multiple AMT grants over those years uh, since AMT started. Uh, they also do something different. They do grant writing for the road department, grant writing for the parks, grant writing for uh, facilities, building, building upgrades, those kind of things. So it's a multifaceted grant a company based in Canton, Ohio. It's endorsed by the Ohio Township Association. Um, and so trustees, uh, Mr. Mann had asked me to uh, go to them and have a an agreement drafted uh, uh, up, and you have that in front of you, both in your the, the uh, work session paperwork and the general meeting uh, paperwork, uh, same agreement. The uh, legal counsel, Mr. Uh, Prosecutor uh, Nathaniel Peterson, has reviewed the uh, agreement, uh, sees it uh, as a very good uh, agreement to use as well. Uh, they uh, have lower fees. Um, the cap on any AFG grant or any grant that you would ask for, the most that they charge on a cap is $3,000, no matter how big the grant is or how much work goes into it. The other thing is they manage about uh, almost 90 to 100% of the grant. They manage everything from within their house which takes the load of responsibility off the backs of the township here for the work that previously had to be done with the other grant writer. 
Um, now there's some pending uh, uh, possible legal uh, issues that the prosecutor is handling uh, with the the uh, the uh, the grant writer that resigned, and so you trustees have to take action to accept the resignation uh, and uh, and and then accept the agreement for uh, uh, hiring the new grant writer uh, who will uh, immediately handle the two AFT grants, the uh, new ambulance and the rescue tool. They have reviewed this information already and says we're in, in contacted FEMA and we're in full compliance with FEMA. They will also help us take our paperwork that uh, previous grants and they will catalog them for us so we are in compliant with all past grants since the very first one was received. So we were asking that of the other grant writer, and the other grant writer had agreed to do it and didn't do it. Uh, and also, as you know, did not submit the AFG grant that you submitted, and also did not put an application to him for paper, which he had verbally agreed to do so. So, uh, so Mr. Mann has been working on this pretty heavy to find a, another grant writer, uh, and so that's that's what this project's all about. So, uh, do we have do we have a reason why the original grant writer left? Uh, the original grant writer left because of accusations that he didn't authorize certain things to be done. The legal counsel reviewed it and said there's nothing in the contract that says something wasn't done right. It's strictly an opinion. <clears throat> also, that individual um, included FEMA on our two-party contract. Whereas that person uh, included FEMA on the resignation letter, and FEMA is not part of the two-party contract between the township and the grant writer. So there's some legal issues that I cannot discuss any further. You can discuss with Nathaniel Peterson yourselves, uh, but that's being handled in a separate motion. So can I get, just get a short answer, like a yes or no? Uh, can I get a copy of his resignation, or do I have to do a uh, public records request to get that? You have that resignation because you reply to it in an email to Mr. Uh, uh, Mickey Smith. Oh, that is the last, oh, that long ago. Okay, I thought it was something. I thought it was something real recent. I saw that one. Yes. No, okay. No, that was a resignation. Okay. Twenty sixth of two thousand twenty. So we we worked really hard to find the best grant writer we could find. In okay, the so recommended. there again. Now, so there again, I really would like to see that resolution split. Um, you're talking two major decisions. You're asking the three of us to make a decision on two topics that it really should be separated. So you have got written in one resolution uh, acknowledging his resignation and then hiring whoever to be a replacement. That needs to be two separate resolutions. Those don't need to go together. Not, not according to legal counsel. Legal I was, counsel can it, well, uh, did you get that? You did you get, in, did they get that in writing from then? If you did, I want a copy me, of it. Uh, sir, let me finish. AFG is an active account, uh, active grant process, and you have to have a seamless transfer. And so you have to do it all in one transaction. And if you want an answer, you call Mr. Peterson. I would think if the trustees want two separate resolutions, no matter what legal counsel says, you have to write two separate resolutions. That's what I've always been told is what the trustees want. Hard to vote on involves, two. Go ahead. Involves, Go ahead, Steve. It, it, it involves legal action. So we're following, as recommended by legal counsel, who has to defend every one of you that, that, that are elected to run this township. Let me ask uh, one question here, and uh, I need to get this clarified. But you said that if we have any problems with the old grant writer by signing the new contract, won't it, won't will not cause us any problems of resolving those issues. Is that correct? Correct. Uh, Mr. Peterson says that that was a, re a uh, termination resignation of your original contract. Okay. So um, he took action according to how he felt he should. 
Well, maybe Mr. I'll have to call. I'll have to call Nathaniel because in his response, you say he said this, he said that, blah blah blah. Um, that needs to be copied to me. If you want my decision on this, then I don't need to hear it from you, a third party, in a meeting. I need to, I need to see it in writing. His response, uh, what's going on from him. I will talk to him. Thank you. Next. Trustees, any other discussion on this? Any other new business? Motion to adjourn. Second. What were you saying, Jim? Uh, we just had uh, Mr. McLaughlin just made a motion to adjourn, and I seconded it. Okay. So we are adjourned at 6.21 p.m. All right. You have to have a roll call. Thank you. McGuire? Yes. Man? Yes. McLaughlin? Yes. Again, we're adjourned at 6.21 p.m. All right.